I'm here with Ibrahim Turkan, who's the chief executive of Bursa Istanbul, the Istanbul Stock Exchange. Mr. Turkan, thanks very much for joining us. I wonder if you could tell us uh, the global financial crisis uh, has affected the advanced economies very much. Has it created an opportunity for exchanges like yourself, like yours? The economy as a whole, the Turkish economy, performed very well throughout the crisis. And in effect, this crisis served us as a stress testing exercise. So after that, the perception and interest of investors has changed significantly. And uh, we are observing the, of course, the benevolent effects of these better perceptions. So what, what we have seen, of course, is a huge number of regulatory changes worldwide. Um, but of course, there are lots of inconsistencies in the regulation and, and maybe emerging markets have been rather overlooked by the regulators in the rush to... Is, is that a criticism you'd make? Exactly, exactly. I, I can't agree more. Uh, I mean, of course, I, mean, I can understand this because advanced economies has a greater proportion in, in the global financial system. And especially this crisis has its uh, center, you know, in the advanced economies. It, it started from the advanced economies. So it is normal that the uh, regulators concentrate a little bit on the advanced economies and its, uh, uh, their, their problems. But I should uh, maybe uh, emphasize once more that the emerging markets, their needs, their peculiarities should not be forgotten. Can you give us a good example of what hits you particularly badly? In the of course, for example, if uh, you put uh, I mean, uh, too much emphasis on the credit rating agencies and their valuations on, on the, uh, while uh, structuring the collaterals, for example. The Turkish economy, yeah. Yes, uh, for example, uh, I mean, to, to be a very concrete example, uh, Turkish economy has an investment grade, investment rating, only from one of the uh, global rating agencies. Uh, and according to the new, new regulatory framework, uh, while computing your capital adequacy, uh, the government uh, securities, for example, uh, with lower, lower ratings, will not be taken into consideration. Okay, a, a, a very a big issue related in fact is, is how do you get how do you get savings uh, and generate the capital to 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 fuel an economy like Turkey? I mean, the experience of Turkey in the past decades has not been great, has it? What can you do to make a better, more secure Turkish financial system? First of all, uh, you have, I mean, uh, best practice applications or best practice institutions in your in your country and this is what we are trying to do with the new capital markets law with the new institutional structure of borsa istanbul uh, more transparency we, yes we we in a way we, we brought the uh, corporate culture or the institutional structure in full compliance with the international standards. And more on exchange trading, presumably. Yes, e exactly. Corporate governance, transparency, accountability, uh, best practice in terms of the institutional infrastructure, like uh, central securities depository, central clearing, central uh, counterparty. Okay. I mean, we, we, they, they are all in the right place now. A last question. You have plans for a link up with the London Stock Exchange. Can yes. you tell us uh, more details? Are, you gonna, are they going to take a stake in you? Uh, well, of course, as you know, uh, London Stock Exchange is a public company. So unless and until all are uh, cleared, I cannot say, I cannot give you a detailed explanation. But the only thing I can say, yes, we are looking for a strategic partner. And this will be one of the major global stock exchanges in the world and of course London Stock Exchange as you know is one of the global major stock exchanges. Mr. Turkham, thank you very much. Thank you.